so ladies and gentlemen, esteemed members of our university community, and most important, our dedicated students. Good evening. My name is Eliska Hribalova, and I'm second year student of international tourism. And I'm currently running for the, uh, for the position of vice president of academic life. In my speech, I would love to talk about my manifesto, which I will follow when I will be elected. Today, I stand before, uh, before you to address an essential aspect uh, of our academic journey, the signific significance of implying student voice. Each of us among hold the uh, power to inspire change, drive progress, and create a more supportive and engaging learning environment to all. So firstly, uh, let's talk about the material support for students which I have in my manifesto. In era when education extends beyond the conference of textbooks uh, and lecture halls, it's crucial that we provide our students the resources they need to be succeed. Uh, the example of material support will be written uh, as part of student food bus and food bank, which I know it helped many students last year. And this is just a small example which I would love to provide. Uh, moving on, essential for every student is to know your exams rights. Understanding your rights concerning examination can be significantly release stress and confusion. This includes clear, uh, clear guide, uh, guide, uh, guidelines and examination process. Well, what's going to happen if I'm going to fail the exam? Uh, where I have to apply? Where's the next date for the exams? Knowledge is a power. So being informed is the first step toward uh, empowerment. Enhancing the student environment is another cornerstone of our commitment. And conducive learning environment goes beyond the physical spaces. It encompasses mental health, support, fostering culture and respect and inclusivity, and ensuring that every student feels valued and heard. Uh, by investing in our facilities and services, we create campus that not only educates, but nurtures. Uh, strengthening the Student Representative Council is essential in, achieve, in achieving these goals. Uh, the mainly council uh, acts as a bridge between the student body and the administration, ensuring that your voice are not just heard, but it's acted upon. Uh, lastly, the student accommodation, like Emil already mentioned, uh, we have to support and is going to be our top priority, ensuring that every student has access to safe, affordable, and comfortable living condition is a fundamental for their success. I'm committed to addressing housing challenges, provided gui uh, providing guidance, and working tirelessly to enhance student accommodation services. So in conclusion, each of these topics from material support and exam rights to en enhancing student environments, strengthening student uh, rep council and accommodation support are not standalone issues. They are in interconnected threads in this tapestry of student experience. By working together, uh, engaging actively, like we already heard, uh, voicing our needs and concerns, we can wave a stronger, more vibrant community where every student has the opportunity to grow. Thank you for your attention, your passion, and your commitment to making university a better place for all of us. Let's continue to support each other, advocate for your rights, and shape the future of our institution together. Thank you. <clears throat> well done, Eliska. So two questions uh, for you, Eliska. So the first one is, how would you apply what you've learned as international officer to the role of vice president for academic life? Uh, I would love to apply because uh, the experience from the international student by myself, uh, how how hard it's like to interact and get used to the new environment and support other students, which will definitely come next year from abroad to make their new start easier. Very good. And the next question is, will you be advocating for a change of Christmas exams to before Christmas to reduce student stress? Uh, I know the, this question was already heard last year. Uh, I think this going to depend on the survey, which I would love to do on September. I know it's going to be a short time to do it, but I think if students want to uh, change the exams from January to December, it's possible. It's going to take a lot of effort, a lot of time, but I think if we're going to hear it from students that they want the change, I think it's possible to do it. Okay, thank you very much, Eliska.